are going? Not having much luck these days with my uh, connection. <laughs> what can I say? Just doing lots of adjusting and everything around. Um, but yeah, um, the issue with consent and vanillas. We had a gentleman who's basically been online and said, um, you know, he's kind of curious to think pe vanilla people are less worthy of informed consent. Uh, most likely because he's seen a lot of posts where people are giving advice. Um, they said basically on how to cheat on their partner or how to manipulate them and, and people saying like, you know, well, if you're not meeting my particular kink needs and stuff, you, I'm going to cheat on you or I'm going to pressure you into meeting my needs and and that in es in essence is a violation of consent because they didn't really agree to it. Well, they said no, but they keep getting manipulated and, and whatnot into doing things like, you know, being bratty, losing their temper and then, you know, things happen. But um, he says it might seem antagonistic, but there is also the fact that a lot of people talk about, you know, consent, communication, um, respecting boundaries. Um, but then, you know, when a, a, a so-called vanilla person isn't meeting a kinky person's need, that, you know, you, you're basically told, okay, it's, it's fine for you to go cheat and do all sorts of other stuff. And they're, and they're genuinely curious. Um, basically, he's surprised that there's no rule about saying, you know, if a person doesn't want to try anything kinky, um, you know, why don't you just leave it at that? And I said, well, you know, I've I've given advice to people that says, you know, how do I get my partner to be kinky? I said, well, you can't. You can talk to them about it, saying, you know, these are one of your needs, and talk about how you're going to manage it. And if they're not interested, they're not interested. Don't push it. If they're not interested, maybe you can get it satisfied in another way, but with the consent of your original partner. Um, and say, look, is it okay? Now, the thing is also is that so many people think that being kinky means you actually ha have to have sex um, with another kink star you don't you can have relationships where you know you, you can dif differentiate the love and sex with other things but there's quite a few people that just don't so they um, start losing perspective um, start falling the dom all over the place um, neglecting their you know basic life and to give everything up for their dom now I don't agree with that <laughs> myself but here's the thing, I, I guess it it depends a lot on how you are with your relationships and your dynamics. Um, I basically don't view kinky relationships any better than vanilla relationships. It's just a different framework with which people can work through for their relationships. Um, yeah, I... I sometimes manipulate or handle my partners but they also do that to me and that's part of our relationship and it's consensual we agreed to yeah if I'm getting out of hand or you're getting out of hand I will say something or I will push you towards what we have as a goal for our relationship and what we want to achieve does that mean I don't respect them or anything and I said no I respect them in the fact that they are they are human they will have times when they do or don't feel like doing things in which case I will leave them alone for a certain amount of time but if if it's not helping if it's detrimental to us I will say something or handle them and they know that I'm handling them and they may or may not like it just as like I know that they are handling me and I may or may not like it at times but uh, there are times when I know yeah it I am being really silly in, in a particular respect and you know I should just pull my head out and get on with life. Um, should you push a vanilla into doing BDSM stuff they don't want to? No. Should you push someone who's kinky into being vanilla? Again, no. <laughs> Will a person become more kinky or vanilla over time? Maybe. Depends on their life, what's going on. Um, how they are wired 
um, and what they need it for. I mean, I put weird there, and that's a bit of a typo, but, um, you know, it's it's how they are wired and um, what, what they need it for. Some people won't be kinky with um, other particular people because it's just, it's just not, either it's not what they're considered a part of the framework or it's it's an uncomfortable thing for them and, and some people will only be kinky in certain ways with others because it's it has to do with that particular person now there are also people who go well they weren't kinky when they were with me how come they're kinky now um, and we could have had that I go well maybe at that time they weren't ready or at the times you know or, or since then something has happened that made them think about kinky stuff or they've had a talk with someone who explained it in a different way or maybe it's just that one person or something it could also be for some a stage in their life um, that they do and then once they've done it that it's they just don't do it again you know it depends a lot on the people and who's involved and what kind of kinky you're talking about as well so to the original question, uh, for honest curiosity, no, I don't think vanilla people are less worthy of informed consent. I believe that everyone should be making conscious, informed decisions on their relationships and dynamics in life, regardless of whether it is kinky or whether it is vanilla. Um, sometimes you don't have enough information and that's okay you know e everything's life and learning and you make decisions and choices based on the information that you have at hand so yeah i think that's it for me today this monday and i yeah i have had technical difficulties but <laughs> trying to get them sorted out so i hope that um i hope that's good for you guys and i hope it's informative for you but yeah, just remember, you know, the other people, it's, it's not just you that's in a relationship, there are other people, you know, you and other people, sometimes maybe more than you and one other person in a relationship. And be just because someone's not meeting your needs doesn't mean you have to cheat on them, doesn't mean you have to manipulate them. It just means you need to be honest and more direct with them about what your needs are and what your limits are and have a discussion it might be that you love someone really dearly but you know maybe your relationship won't be the same in and in that way it's a shame that maybe you shouldn't be together there's some people who get on really well but they would be a mess together um, it could be that you need to have a talk and, and establish those boundaries um, particularly vanilla people say look I need this particular thing no sex is going to happen you know what is and isn't allowed um, some people will allow things like toys um, just no penetration of fingers and other bodily parts or any bodily fluid exchange and that's fine I mean I, I have that it's like there's no fluid exchange at all f if I want to play with anybody else if I have a need for any particular type of play that's the agreement and I will talk to anybody that I play with in, and my partners about this so everyone's on the same page everyone knows what's going on but would I make a a straight person or a, a non vanilla person um, be kinky no I did actually break up with somebody because of that um, I didn't want to make them into something that they weren't something that wasn't natural for them something that they were not curious about whatsoever um, so I broke up with them. I love them dearly. Still good friends. Still great mates. We still live together, um, and we still love each other. Just it—it it wasn't them. They have an aversion to it. So again, no harm, no foul. Um, just agree to disagree and still love each other, I guess. Anyway, that's me for today. I'll catch up with you guys later, um, and you have a good week. Bye.